Hey guys, what is going on? Dan here. Time for another episode of First Bite. Sorry if the lighting is not great in here. I think it's going to storm out there. It looks like I finished my round of golf just in time. And before I came back from the golf course, I went to the burger spot. Not the burger spot. The. T-H-E-E. -E, two E's. So you know it is the burger spot. This is at the corner of MLK and Tampa Street in Seminole Heights. The address for this place is 3917 North Tampa Street, Tampa, Florida, 33603. Now, I got a couple different things. We're going to take a look at a couple different burgers here. First of all, they have a couple different menus on the wall. They have the burger menu, and then they have the gourmet burgers. So you can see here, like they got the burger, the cheeseburger, the bacon, the double cheese. I got the double cheese. And then on the gourmet burgers, I got the crazy one. Bologna, salami, ham, pepper jack, and American cheese. And then they got the other menu here, which is anti-burger. And basically it's anything that's not an actual burger beef patty. They've got the chicken shit. That sounds interesting. The uh, steak and cheese, the grouper sandwich, and then you've got your side pieces over there. The onion rings, the french fries, all of that stuff. I see a lemonade actually down at the bottom. I should have got some lemonade. Let's start with the double. This just looks like their basic burger with um, bacon, double patty, cheese. good burger. I do feel like, right off the bat, I feel like this needs something and I don't know what. Maybe it needs mustard on it. Maybe, it, I don't know. I mean, it looks like we got mayo, onion, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Got the, I, I mean, something's just a little bit off. It is a good burger. Fries, Try the fries. I find really, really top-notch fries at very few places these days. Same here. It's interesting because they're decent. I wouldn't say that they're above average. But they sort of suit the burger. Bonus drink review... Pop the top here. We have Mr. Cola since 1949. The aristocrat of colas. That's right. Ooh, the aristocracy is back with a vengeance. This is as good. This is as good as that uh, Mexicali cola that I tried in the other video. I, you're you're nitpicking if you go one from the other. You're nitpicking. This is maybe like a tenth of a point lower. I think I gave the Mexicali a nine point three, but this is this is still amazing. It's a nine point two cola. That lights out. Absolutely lights out cola. Delicious. Let's try the other burger. That special one that I got, the weird one, or what was it called? I don't even remember. Let's try that one. Again, it's another good burger. Something is missing to bring this over the top. And I don't know what it is. Good burgers. They're both good. I mean, it's, it's a good burger. Kind of reminds me like a little bit of El Cap over in St. Pete. But like just one or two ticks like more bougie kind of thing. Not that this is a bougie burger, but it's just one or two ticks more in that direction. I don't know, something's falling short. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to put steak sauce on the burger. As it is, good burger. 7.8. Good burger. It's just 
it's not it's not hitting that next level. Honestly, I mean, would I go out of my way from where I live all the way up to Seminole Heights to get this if I hadn't already been up that way today anyway? If I was in the mood for something like this, maybe, probably not. I just, I need that next level. It's not there, but still a good burger, 7.8, that's it. Deuces, Dan is out. That's been another episode of First Bite.